believe it, guys? A comic book shop actually wants me there today to sign autographs. They probably just want to see if you know how to write your name. Right now? Shh. It's my Cape Avenger costume. Just in case there's a world crisis or anyone wants my autograph. The shop's up ahead, guys. I'll bet there's a line all the way around the block of fans who want my signature. What time is the line around the block getting here? I just love ultra-powerful guy comics. I can't understand it, Mr. Arbuckle. I advertised for weeks that you'd be here. I thought everyone who loves your work would show up. We are all here. They didn't turn out for you. They didn't even come to see the rarest comic book in the world, ultra-powerful guy number one. <laughs> I thought people would come to see it if I had a copy on display. Isn't that worth like a million dollars? It sure is. The guy who loaned it to me insisted I hire a security guard to stand watch on it. But it didn't draw a big crowd either. Aren't there a few people in the store? Just a few and not enough. I've run out of ideas to attract customers. Looks like I'm gonna have to go out of business. I know what this store needs. Yes, it needs excitement. It needs celebrity. It needs an appearance by the most super of all superheroes. <laughs> the Cape Avenger. Avenger, Avenger, Avenger. Hey, no snickering about the costume. Last week at a convention, I bought the entire run of Colossal Mystery Comics, 425 issues, all in mint condition and sealed in plastic. <laughs> if they're sealed in plastic, how are you gonna read them? Read them? I got my whole life savings in this place and I'm not making enough to pay the rent. Oh, don't worry, Rupert. Something will change. Fate will just walk through the front door. I'm here! <laughs> Okay, well, now I'm over here. It is I, the, the Cape Avenger, 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 Avenger. No! Uh, it's a real life superhero. It's an overweight cat in a bad costume. Right both times, men. And now I will. <laughs> hey, whatever that was, I didn't do it. It sounds like it came from outside. My front window with the million dollar comic book. I repeat. I didn't do it. Not my fault, whatever it is. It's gone. The copy of Ultra Powerful Guy number one is gone. I'll call the police. Odie, be careful of that broken glass all over the sidewalk. Hello? Uh, I'd like to report a robbery. A very expensive robbery. Huh? How am I gonna pay for that comic book? I'm ruined. All right, let's run through this one last time. Yeah, it's like I said, officer. This guy in a costume, he looked like a super villain. Ran up outside the window and used some sort of super power hammer thingy. He broke the window, knocked me out, grabbed the comic, mm. and disappeared. I see. You think you could describe him well enough that our police artist could make a sketch of him? I'll try, but he was wearing a mask. Odie, huh? this looks like a job for... Fanfare? <gasps> The Kate Avenger, 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 Avenger. Where's my trusty sidekick, Slurp? Oh, hi, trusty sidekick, Slurp. Where's your costume? Well, then dream one up. Use your imagination. How many times do I have to tell you the sidekick can't have a better costume than the hero? No time to change. There's a super villain lurking about. Let's roll! 
You're probably wondering if there's an origin story for the Cape to Venger, Venger, Venger. Well, there is. Criminals are a superstitious, cowardly lot, so my disguise must be able to strike terror into their hearts. I will base my costume on the next thing I see. Senor, huh? here is the pizza you ordered. Of course it will scare everyone. It has anchovies on it. <clears throat> All right. Better? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Let's find a despicable repulsive supervillain to defeat. Wow. Because that's what heroes like us do, that's why. Nope, no despicable repulsive supervillains around here. Let's eat. Cape Avenger! Cape Avenger! No autographs, and you forgot my echo. There's a despicable repulsive supervillain robbing the bank! Leaping lasagna! Wait, did you say he was despicable? Yes! And is he repulsive? Very! This sounds like a job for the Cape Avenger! 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 He's also very dangerous. This sounds like a job for the Cape Avengers sidekick. <laughs> Call me after you defeat him. I'll be in Bermuda. <gasps> there he is now. Oh. Hey, Cape Avenger, Avenger, Avenger. I just robbed the bank. You keep your money in. What are you going to do about it? The thing any self-respecting superhero would do? Move my money to another bank. <laughs> no, it's too late. He's already stolen my money. We have to get it back. Onward, overdressed sidekick. We are here. Wanna give up? No. Even though I have incredible speed? Watch this. I'll run completely around the world. <laughs> Sorry I took so long. There was a traffic jam on a highway in Luxembourg. So, want to give up now? No. Even though I have incredible strength, watch as I lift the heaviest object around here. Me. John was right. I need to lose a few pounds. Want to give up now? No, I think I'd rather do this. <laughs> I think I'll give up the part about arresting supervillains and just wear the suit and look cool. Odie, I came through the wall this way and the bricks are out here. Huh? Odie, I think I solved the crime. Huh? Yes, crashing through that wall like that reminded me of a story I once read in an issue of Ultra Powerful Guy. Come on. Ultra Powerful Guy, Ultra Powerful Guy. Ah, here they are. Now, which issue was it? Nope, not this one. No, not this one either. <gasps> Wait, I think this is it. It is. Come on. I'll be honest with you, Rupert. The chances of us finding this supervillain and returning the comic book are very slim. So are my chances of staying in business. I have to go back to the police station. Wait, Wait. superhero to the rescue. <sighs> I don't have time to read comic books. Here, read this. Read huh? these panels. What are you trying to get me to... Ultra powerful guy says when a window is broken, the pieces of glass travel in the same direction as the impact. Since the shards of glass were on the outside, that means the window was broken from the inside. That's right. The pieces of glass were on the outside. Which means whoever broke it did it from the inside. Uh, uh oh. Stop that man! Let's go! Somebody stop that guy! He won't get away! <laughs> Any idea which way you went, faithful sidekick? Thanks to your super-powered nose, we're on that trail. This alley is a dead end, but if he comes this way, he can use this board to get over the fence. Huh? 
longer. I think I lost them. Put them out of this yard. They'll never catch me. Another job well done by the Cape Avenger, if I do say so myself. And apparently, I have to. The guard confessed. Oh, thank you, officer. <laughs> Don't thank me. The cat is the one who solved the mystery. Yeah, I did. I feel like that really good-looking blind guy in the cartoons with the big scared dog. Why so glum, Rupert? You got back the comic. Yeah, but I'm gonna lose the comic book store. Nothing I do gets customers in here. Excuse me, is this the place we heard about on the news? Where the superhero foiled a comic book robbery. It is! There's the Cape Avenger! Avenger, Avenger, Avenger. <laughs> Looks like you have customers. <laughs> Lots of them. Yeah. <laughs> How about that? Hey, Batman, eat your heart out. Hey, don't, don't crowd. There's enough of me to go around. Chocolate cake must have cake. This is for Liz's bake sale. <gasps> Touch it, and I'll never make you another lasagna as long as you live. No cake must not have cake. Must watch TV instead. No cake. <laughs> Time for your walk, boy? Okay, I'll walk you while the frosting hardens. <laughs> It'll be safe from Garfield, I think. I want you out of this house now, this second, sooner, if you can manage it. Meow, meow. You are the most horrible, monstrous, awful creature who has ever lived. Don't you ever, ever come back. You hear me? Meow, meow. Ah, who needs him in a cheap cat food he buys? Chopped salmon and styrofoam. Who could eat that slop? I'll find me another house to... Uh-oh. There's that cat I've been looking for. Oh no, you're not getting away from me this time. Now I need food and a 
new place to live. Where am I going to find someone stupid enough to take me in? <laughs> Sweet, adorable kitten. Hmm. Angel, do you have some place to live, little angel? Someone to feed you? Meow, meow. I don't know if we could have another cat in the house. All right, all right. Meow, meow. <laughs> <laughs> meow, meow. But remember, it's just for a little while, Odie. We can't keep him. Oh, Angel is so cute. I'm sure even Garfield won't mind sharing his food. No, 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 and no! In that order, we are not having another cat in this house. I just know you and Angel will get along well, Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Angel, you out of here. Meow, meow. Don't meow, meow me. <laughs> nice, Odie. Good, Odie. <laughs> I'm not eating this junk. I want. Chocolate cake! <laughs> so much for dessert. Now, I want dinner! Dinner! Oh, all right, all right. I won't hurt your friend the kitten, okay? <laughs> oh, you know, I hate to admit it, but he is kind of cute. And how much trouble can he be? <laughs> hmm, about this much. Oh, oh, oh. Garfield! What have you done to my kitchen? I didn't, honestly. <laughs> No, he must have... Garfield, that's low for even you, blaming oh. cute little angel for what you did. Meow, meow. <gasps> and my cake? Huh? I told you not to eat my cake! <gasps> How could you? How could you? I didn't. I didn't. Stop! I'm innocent. Just this <laughs> once. Hey, if I didn't know better, I'd blame me too. Maybe if I stay out of his way, John will let me live here some more. Oh boy, I need a nap. My bed is awaiting me. It's awaiting me with somebody else in it. All right, you miserable. <laughs> oh, listen to me, Odie. He's not your cute little kitten friend. He's not. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna love living here. Day drapes. I haven't treaded any drapes in weeks. Sorry, pup. Now let's see about little Angel. John's gonna blame me for this. Garfield? You're not going to blame this mess on that adorable little kitten. It had crossed my mind. Ouch! 
I am beginning to really not like cute little kittens. He's not a cute little kitten. Who's not? Angel. I saw that guy you live with take him home. Angel's older than you are. He is? Yeah. Only cat I ever saw who asked to shave. But he's bad news. Al the dog catcher's been trying to catch him for months. See ya. <laughs> Al the dog catcher couldn't catch a cold at the North Pole. Hmm, maybe I can lend him a paw. To Liz from John. Looks like that funny looking guy's gonna give candy to his lady friend. <laughs> he thinks. Meow, meow. Now, you stupid mutt. I don't want to throw the silly stick so you can fetch it. Now, get out of here or else. <sighs> now, where was I? Uh-oh, that cat again. <clears throat> the house is yours. Goodbye forever. Uh, isn't this your home? Used to be. But I got a lead on a better place to live. It's a house a few blocks away, a gourmet chef who cooks whole prime ribs for his pets and has all sorts of drapes they can shred. And the best part is, he's looking for a cat. Oh, I just hope I'm cute enough. Whole prime ribs, you say? Medium rare. Medium rare prime ribs, drapes to shred. What do I want with this stuff? Give me that address. That's where I'm gonna live. I'm rib here, I <laughs> This guy will take me in. <laughs> that cute kitty routine works all the time. <laughs> meow, meow. <laughs> meow, meow. <laughs> meow, meow. Hey, meow, meow. Well, <laughs> what have we here? A very cute kitten. Meow, meow. Boy, I've been catching stray animals for years, meow. but this is the first time they ever came to the house. You can't do this to me. I'm a cute kitten. I'm adorable. I am. Well, looks like we've seen the last of Little Angel. That is, until we do a sequel to this episode. Never trust any creature that's that cute. They think they can get away with anything. They think... I'll be home in five minutes, dear. I've picked up ten pizzas for the party. Mm. Meow, meow. Hey, it worked for him. It could work for me. Meow, meow. Why, you cute little kitten. You wouldn't want some pizza, would you? Meow, meow. Aww. to scream, Audrey. No one can hear you. Get out of the house, Audrey. Get out of the house while you still can. She's on TV. She can't hear you. And by the way, I'm on TV and I can't hear you either. I heard that. But I saw a ghost, Greg. <laughs> you couldn't possibly have seen a ghost. I know how horror movies work. She'll be safe until she asks, how can you be sure? I trust you, Greg. How can you be sure? Here it comes. Because I'm the only ghost here. Ah! <laughs>
<laughs> I love to watch horror movies with John and Odie. They never touch their popcorn. I can't watch another second of this. I hate ghost stories. They terrify me. Nothing scares me. Except maybe anchovies on pizza. <laughs> <laughs> oh, something will scare you, cat. Something's gonna scare you real good. <laughs> <laughs> now, Pookie, while John's away, I'm gonna teach you how to make the perfect sandwich. The secret lies in two essential points. Quantity, and more importantly, quantity. A true work of art, wouldn't you agree, Pookie? Oh, Pookie? Odd. I would have sworn Pookie was sitting next to me. <gasps> How'd you get over here? <laughs> oh, my sandwich! Odie, bad dog! You ate my sandwich. Huh? Come on, you're here and the sandwich isn't. Therefore, you ate it and I'll prove it. There will be crumbs and residues of ham, cheese, tomato, pastrami. Hey, that's weird. Not a single trace of food. Whew. But you could use a mint. So, if you didn't eat the sandwich, who did? <laughs> <laughs> a ghost? You think we're being haunted by a ghost? As usual, empty. Listen, Pop, ghosts only exist in movies and TV shows. They don't exist in the real world. <laughs> Buddy, remember a moment ago I said, this is no time to panic? <laughs> that wasn't. This is... <laughs> I never cared much for that chair. And we can do without that table. And we don't need... No! Not the TV! <laughs> oh, no. Boy, that was close. What would I ever do without you? You think I know how to make a mess? This guy knows how to make a mess. Oh. Hey, ghost, I know you're here, you mean home-wrecking spineless spook. You don't scare me. Okay, ghost, no need to get angry, I get the picture. <laughs> I know that laugh. Where did I hear that laugh before? Garfield, Odie, I'm home. <laughs> I'm going to fix myself a snack and go right to my office and go to work. He didn't notice. <laughs> he noticed. What did you do? I mean, I, I, how, I, 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 how could you? Hey, we didn't do this. I've been framed. <laughs> What? Are you trying to tell me a ghost did this? That's the lamest excuse I ever heard, and I have no choice but to punish you. Punish us? Okay, guys, it's time for dinner. I'll have the Caesar salad to start, dressing on the side, then the shrimp cocktail followed by French onion soup with extra cheese, corn on the cob with extra butter and a side of lasagna. For dessert, apple pie with mint chip ice cream and a couple of seven layers. There you cakes. go. <laughs> Kitty witty dry cat food made from all artificial ingredients. <laughs> this is not what I ordered. That's all huh? you're getting for the next year. 
Bon appetit. A year? I can't take a year of this. I can't take a mouthful. Who could be stupid enough to eat this? <laughs> He's not getting away with this. I demand food. <laughs> okay, John, you want to play? I'm game. Don't bother, Garfield. This kitchen is burglar-proof and Garfield-proof. <laughs> oh well, at least the food is better here. Huh? That laugh again. I know I've heard it before. It's like it came from one of the houses across the street. Nathan? Huh? Lunch is ready. Coming, Mother. I know who the ghost is. It's it's Nathan, that bratty science geeky kid across the street. The kid who shrunk me to the size of a mouse. The kid who cloned Odie into 12 dogs with the collective brains of a hockey puck. The kid who turned Nermal into a cockroach. Can you believe that? Someone actually found a way to make Nermal more annoying? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Told ya. Journal, my invisibility machine is working to perfection. Phase one, getting back at that stupid orange cat and that dumb huh? puppy was a total success. And now, phase two, to terrorize the entire neighborhood, and then the city, and finally, the whole wide world. <laughs> Let's see how this thing works. <laughs> ah! Okay, the green button makes you invisible. Let's see what happens when I push the white button. Okay, got it. White button reverses it. Thanks for lunch, huh? Mo. I'm gonna eat in my huh? lap or a uh, room. Uh-oh, green button time. I'll eat as soon as I finish rearranging the world's time zones. Mmm, spaghetti. Mmm, boy. Nathan's mother raised a rotten kid, but she sure makes a mean marinara. Done. Now for my lunch. Oh, well. I don't have time for lunch now. And now let's go out and wreak havoc in the neighborhood. <laughs> Over my invisible body. Ouch! What was that? That was for the stupid orange cat? And this is for the dumb puppy. Hey, whoever you are, you're going to be sorry you did that. Ouch! Time out. I need to catch my breath. I'm a geek, not an athlete. Well, if you're feeling tired, why don't you grab a chair? Ha! You missed. On guard. <laughs> Timber! Ouch! That hurt. Nathan? What's going on here? Nathan! <gasps> what happened? Nathan, where are you? He's right here. <sighs> Nathan! What on earth have you been up to again? I built an invisibility machine. That's what geniuses like me do, Mom. We build cool stuff. Oh, yeah? And how does your genius account for your destroyed room? <laughs> See you, Nathan. There! It was that stupid orange cat who wrecked my room. Huh. I don't see any cat. It was Garfield Honest. He used my machine to make himself Enough. invisible. And I'm sick and tired of your inventions. Ah! So much for your silly oh, no. ability machine. Yeah, no buts. Now, well, I guess that takes care of the boy genius. Now let's look into the dining situation at home. 
Oh, I'm sorry, Odie, but you don't get any pizza. You and Garfield are only getting dry food for a year. That'll teach you to try and convince me that our house was wrecked by ghosts. <laughs> what a silly fib. <laughs> now, if you could convince me that there were ghosts, I'd believe you. But we all know there are no such thing as... Ghosts! Help! Ghosts! My house is haunted! Help! Pizza eating ghosts! Hi, Odie. It's me. Oh, wait. I'll explain it to you after I finish my pizza. Boy, this was a great episode. The animators must have especially loved it. They probably took the week off. idea that I like hot dogs. Another one. I'm sorry, pal. I'm a lot of hot dogs. Here's your bill. Here's my wallet. Garfield, I said we could stop for a light snack. 244 hot dogs is not a light snack. They are if you leave off the chili. Good afternoon, Mr. Edge. I keep telling you, Joe, call me Tyler. I'll have the usual. <sighs> Did that man say he was Tyler Edge? I didn't hear a word after sorry I'm all out of hot dogs. <laughs> Here you go. One six sausage sandwich. Thanks. Mr. Edge, Tyler, I don't have change of a thousand dollar bill. Keep the change. Buy yourself a house. <laughs> yeah. That is Tyler Edge. I didn't hear a word after six sausage sandwich. Oh. Mm. Cartoonist, huh? <laughs> what are you drawing? <laughs> oh, nothing really. I'm kind of doodling, you know, looking for a new comic strip character. You're Tyler Edge, aren't you? <laughs> well, I'm not Tyler Edge. Mm. I'm the Tyler Edge. <laughs> Tyler Edge, Tyler Edge. Hmm, that name sounds familiar. Odie, do you know who Tyler Edge is? Of course not. You never know anything. Wait here. Hey. Sorry, I need to borrow your computer for a second. Tyler Edge, Tyler Edge, Tyler Edge. Ah, here we are. Tyler Edge made his first zillion dollars when he was 16 years old. He quickly built the world's largest empire of video games, cartoon shows, comic books, and major motion pictures. They call him the man who knows exactly what today's young audiences want to buy. Thanks. I just had to look that up. The way you draw is kind of interesting. Tell you what, what did you say your name was? John Arbuckle. Oh, not a good name. But okay, tell you what, bring me a concept, and if I think today's audience will go for it, I'll make you a very rich man. Huh? I give you one tip. Draw and write what you know. Oh. Hmm. Guys, this is the opportunity of a lifetime. I want to go right home and go to work. Okay, but on the way home, could we stop for more hot dogs? I'm thinking maybe a college student who gets stung by a spider and develops spider abilities. Nah, no one would ever read a comic book like that. Huh? 
John is having this thing called writer's block. Do you know what writer's block is, Odie? It's when you stare stupidly at a blank page for days and forget to feed your adorable pets. A gerbil. A crime-fighting gerbil. No, no, a horse. And set in the Stone Age. No, two horses and a sailor. And the sailor's a robot. And they're all fish. And radioactive. It's been done. <laughs> I'm a failure. A failure. I can't come up with any new, fresh ideas. Come on, Odie. Let's give him a new, fresh idea. Why? Us, of course. <laughs> oh. I get it. You think I should drop a comic book about you guys? The man is clear on the concept. Oh, it would never work. A comic about a cat who eats lasagna and sleeps all day? And a dog with a long tongue? <laughs> Who would ever be interested in something like that? <sighs> if I took an idea like that to Tyler Edge, he'd throw huh? me right out of his... I give you one tip. Draw and write what you know. Huh? What you know? Ah. <laughs> I could do a comic about a cat who eats lasagna and sleeps all day. Yes. And a puppy with a long tongue that fetches sticks all the time. Yes. And I could set it in the future and make you both zombie penguins. No. <laughs> oh, you're right. No zombie <sighs> penguins. This is the greatest idea in the world. <laughs> and I have so much material for it. <laughs> Thank you for agreeing to look at my idea. I hope you like it. If I like it, the world will like it. Lay it on me. Huh? Well, it's about a fat orange cat. Hey. And uh, there's a pea brain puppy. Here are some drawings I did. They're on paper. Well, yeah, drawings are usually on paper. I can't relate to paper, uh, Arbuckle. I have to see oh. things animated. Let's go to my animation department. Huh? <sighs> oh, you mean you're going to have your team of animators animate my comic strip? <laughs> That's fantastic! Team of animators? Don't be ridiculous. Huh? We got rid of animators years ago. It's all done by computers now. Why pay people to sit and draw all day? Can you believe it, guys? You're going to be animated! Us? Cartoon characters? <laughs> Who would have thought? Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. We're working on having the computer create a solid hologram of a character. But that's in the future. <laughs> right now, it's building computer models based on your drawings. Oh. <laughs> All right, done. Now let's see what an episode might look like. No, I will not go through the stick so you can fit. Boring. I think it's pretty good. Yeah. Well, that's because you aren't me. First thing, the color of the cat is all wrong. <laughs> Maybe blue or beige or... Hey, polka dots are popular. They look like I have measles. Wait, wait, pink! Whoa! Ah! Pink is very big this year. I'm hearing they may even make the sky pink. Do you think Garfield oh. should be pink like that and... I like it! I like it! <sighs> now we have to do something about that voice of his. I want some lasagna. Nah, it doesn't fit him. I'll try some different ones. Here. I want some lasagna. 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 But I know what we need. A celebrity voice. I thought I was a celebrity. It's very popular these days. Animated characters voiced by movie stars. I'll be back for more lasagna. 
I'm starting to really not like this. Well, okay. Now, what about Odie? Huh? I'm thinking let's lose the dog. Hasta la vista, Odie. But, but Odie is an important part of the idea. Uh, nobody wants to see dogs. How many hit cartoon shows can you name that have a dog? All of them. For that matter, I'm not so sure about a cat. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't think so. Wrong. Definitely not. Maybe a cat, but a, a different design. Couldn't we just let Garfield be Garfield? Wait, uh, I have it. I have it, Arbuckle. The most awesome today vision. That's it. That's it. Is right. Tyler, what is it? What is it, Arbuckle? It's the idea that's going to make me another jillion dollars and you a couple of bucks. I think I'll take my idea somewhere else. Yay, John. Wait, you can't leave. You're not getting my full vision. Here, here, I'll create a solid hologram of them to show you. I thought you said that process wasn't perfected. <laughs> well, it isn't, but I have to make you see what I see. See? See how awesome it is? <gasps> no, it's horrible. Get rid of it. Get rid of me, I get rid of you! No! Let's get out of here! Is he gone? He destroyed the computer that projected his hologram. You'll never see him again. Good. From the neck down, he was pretty ugly. My entire computer animation department is destroyed. It'll take like years to rebuild it. What'll I do till then? Ah, uh, I don't know. Maybe hire huh? some human beings who know how to draw? You just might be onto something, Arbuckle. <gasps> Lucky my drawing survived. I'm going to go look for someone who will like my idea enough to keep it the way it is. Well, good luck, but I think you're wasting your time. What do you think, guys? Oh, I don't know. Odie, do you think anyone would watch a cartoon show about a cat that eats lasagna and a puppy with a long tongue? Yeah, me neither. She's a coming right oh. up, my friends. Oh, great, huh? Pookie. It's supper time. A personal sized pizza for Signore Arbuckle. A oh. puppy dog sized pizza for Signore Puppy Dog. <laughs> and oh. a Garfield sized pizza for Signore Garfield. Oh. Hey, I distinctly recall ordering a large. Oh, oh well. Bon appetit, Pookie, my gastronomic friend. Look at that cool teddy bear, Dad. Eat your pizza before it gets cold, Jack. 
Oh, that was a nice, tasty pizza. On the small side, but tasty. Oh, what a shame, Pookie. You haven't touched your pizza. Well, we can't let it go to waste now, can we? <laughs> Boy, Dad, that's the neatest looking teddy bear I ever saw. I wish I had one like that. Really? You think other kids would want one? Sure. What's that, Pookie? Oh, now you're hungry. Well, I guess we'll just have to order another pizza then. Oh. Hey, I remember you. Arbuckle, right? How much for the teddy bear? Uh, I'm sorry? The teddy bear. I want to buy it. Oh. What? Uh, no, you can't have Pookie. No, 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 no. Not for all the lasagna in Italy. I'm sorry, Mr. Allwork. My cat oh. loves Pookie. And, huh? well... I just can't take him away because your son wants him. I don't want to keep it, Arbuckle. I'm CEO of All Work Toys, a very large company. I want to make duplicates of it and sell them around the world. Here's how much I'll give you as an advance. <laughs> Are you allowed to have that many numbers on one check? Uh, Mr. All Work? You have a deal! Pookie is going to be a bestseller, Arbuckle. You and I are going to make a bundle. Hear that, Pookie? I always knew you were destined for greatness. What's that? You want to celebrate with five more pizzas? Well, if you insist. We'll have that duplicated and returned to you in no time. Take good care of him. What did you call him, Pookie? Well, we measured and studied every bit of him. <laughs> Here is the duplicate prototype we have created. He's... he's perfect! No, it isn't. Kids today have computers. They want high-tech, state-of-the-art. Does take the original back to Arbuckle. <laughs> Professor, I want you to upgrade and improve this toy. You know what to do. Indeed I do. I shall give you the teddy bear of the future. And sales of the new toy known as Robo Pookie are setting new oh, records. Huh? They just went on sale this morning and already thousands have been sold. I'm going to be rich! <laughs> and I'm going to be even richer. I bought commercial time in this news broadcast. Oh, Fluffy, why do you just sit there all day and do nothing? Are your children bored with their teddy bears? I sure! Well, here comes the teddy bear of the future, Robo Pookie. Huh? Robo Pookie can sing, dance, exercise, play games, clean your room, and speak 17 yeah. languages. <laughs> Robo Pookie is the best nanny ever. And so the princess married the elevator repairman, and the uh, happily ever after. Good night. I don't think you should see this. Robo Pookie is your child's very own private entertainer. You definitely shouldn't see this. Stay in here until this is all over. To be or not to be? That is the question. Yay! That's Robo Pookie, coming soon to a store near you. You're gonna love me and buy me. Whoa! This is awesome, Mr. Allwork. <laughs> there was nothing wrong with the original Pookie. Does. Let him have the one I brought. Here you are, sir. Huh? Hi, I'm Robo Pookie. Who wants to play with me? 
Two playmates with one brain between them, and it takes batteries. I've had enough of this imposter. The nerve of trying to improve on the real Pookie. Except no substitutes. Each one has a computer chip to download software updates and to communicate with other Robo Pookies. It's great, Mr. Ulwark. I can't imagine how anything could go wrong. I was just trying to help. Huh? Who is that? Do you know what time it is? Yes, it's 4 hours 6 a.m. in New Delhi, India. It's 2.36 in the afternoon. Would you like your finger pain? In here, he won't find us. Huh? No, no, this is the real one, the good one, the one who doesn't do anything. Pick a card, any card. Yeah, leave us alone, let us sleep. But I am your friend. I just want to help you and entertain you. <gasps> he looks just like me. Huh? He is. I salute you, a worthy forebear. I kiss <gasps> your feet in respect. I've been trying to get people to treat me like that for years. I will follow the wishes of the grand forebear. Great. The grand forebear says he wants you to let us get some sleep. <laughs> As you wish, I shall remain here and bask in the greatness of the Grand Forebearer. Fine. You stay there and bask while we go back to bed. I cannot keep your glory all to myself. Attention, fellow robo -pokies. I have found the Grand Forebearer. Repeat, I have found the Grand Forebearer. Robo-Pookies of the world, use your global positioning systems to track the location of my transmission! Hmm. Huh? Uh, it's 5 a.m. Who's ringing the doorbell at this hour? We are here to pay our respects to the Grand Forebear! We are here to pay our respects to the Grand Forebear! I command you all to follow me and the handsome cat. Ah. Repeat, follow me and the handsome cat. Do you understand? Yes, a glorious forebear! I got a call that a lot of Robo Pookies were being returned to my factory. But Dad, don't toys you make get returned all the time? Yes, but usually they don't march in by themselves. <laughs> They're 
all coming back. Every one of them. Every one of them that we made and sold. I'm going to have to give refunds on every one of them. Does that mean I'm not rich? You'll be lucky if you can afford a yo-yo. Huh? I, I should never have gotten into this pookie business. I like mine. That's the prototype we made, the one that didn't do anything. Yeah, I'm glad I have it. Why? What do you do with it? I don't know. Just love it, I guess. <laughs> well, at least I made one kid happy. And I guess I realized what I love about Pookie. He's a lot like me. Yeah, he doesn't do anything. <laughs> you, Odie. Garfield's in a bad mood today. Well, worse than usual. Oh, for one thing, it's Monday. As you know, there's nothing that scares Garfield more than a Monday. <sighs> please don't let today be Monday. Please don't let today be Monday. Please, 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 please don't let today be Monday. <laughs> And then what followed was bad even by Monday standards. He had something planned. Some new way to torment the mailman. He'd been looking forward to it all morning. But then, when the mailman arrived, Herman the mailman had come up with a method of Garfield-proof mail delivery. Get me this time, cat. The mail got delivered and there was nothing he could do. <laughs> then, things got worse. He went to Vito's for pizza. No, no more pizzas for you. Not until I am paid for the last 7,432 you have eaten here. And when he got back, he got maybe the worst news of all. Normal had come for a visit. A long visit. And now, here comes the worst part. I have to tell him he's gaining weight, and I'm putting him on a diet. I know. If you think those other things upset him, wait till you see his reaction to this news. But it has to be done, so I know you won't like it, but I'm putting you on a strict diet, and that's final. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> doing. He brought some junk from the city dump or somewhere and he's been in the garage for an hour building something. He just... Oh, wait. Oh! He's built some sort of invention or something. 
I have no idea what it does. And I'm worried. Garfield has some sort of machine there. I wonder what it does. Whatever it is, it can't be good for me. Oh, Pussycato. What is that machine he has there? What could he possibly do? I have a very bad feeling about this. Uh-oh. What is that thing? Why am I not gonna like what it does? Hmm. That machine of his, it's gotta have something to do with my new tank. Some way of tormenting me in spite of it. I can only imagine what he's gonna do next time I show up in that tank. <laughs> the most fiendish contraption he's ever devised. I have to stop him before he uses it on me. Vito, where's that pizza we ordered? Uh, coming right up, senor. <sighs> what could that machine possibly do? I have learned to never underestimate that pussy gatto. Maybe, maybe it will make uh, the pizza and the, not just any pizza, but pizza up to the Garfield standards. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Uh. What kind of pizza would you like to make today? Thin crust or thick? What do I want to do today? Let's see. You have selected thin crust. Would you like small, medium, or large? <laughs> you have selected extra, extra, super jumbo <laughs> large. Would you like extra cheese? Yes. Extra sauce? Yes. Pepperoni? Yes. Sausage, yes. anchovies, no. meatballs, yes. a side of pasta, yes. a side of cheeseburgers, yes. some Chinese food. Yes. Thank you. Your pizza will be ready <laughs> in 15 seconds. <laughs> no, that takes too long. Mm. Oh man, I gotta speed this thing up. <laughs> Pizza at 1,000 degrees. Your pizza is done. Um, the greatest scientific breakthrough of this or any other century. <laughs> I, I am unnecessary. And I'm coming to you live from the hottest new pizzeria in town. It's called Garfield's. People have been coming from around the world for Garfield's pizza. Some, it is said, have been waiting in line since early August. <laughs> and two words, delicious. This is the best pizza ever made anywhere. No, it's ever. Oh, oh, please, you come in. You have a slice. <laughs> I'm ruined. I haven't sold the pizza since Garfield went into business. Now I am out of a business. Out of my way. I've got to get to Garfield. No, no, stop. No, 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 please, please, no. I... It was just my imagination. But it could happen. I must make certain it does not happen. I'm really worried, Odie. You've got to tell me what Garfield's machine does. Oh. But then, <laughs> what can he do to me? Mail me to Abu Dhabi? He's already done that to me 73 times. Oh, oh right, 74. But what if he doesn't send me to Abu Dhabi? What if he sends me to someplace worse than that? Don't do this, Garfield. Whatever it is you're going to do, don't do it. Will you please calm down? You like Alpha Centauri. Alpha Centauri? 
You're gonna put me in a rocket? Well, how else am I gonna get you there? Oh, no! No, 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 no! I'm the cutest kid in this world, and I want to stay in this world! <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't want to have to do this the hard way, but he's forced me. Here we go! <laughs> Seven. <sighs> I can't wait that long. Blaster! I can't explain now, Odie. I have to stop Garfield from sending me in outer space. <clears throat> I'm leaving, Garfield. I'm huh? leaving. Ooh, I like the sound of that. I'm not staying for months. I'm <laughs> gonna go home. Bye-bye. Uh, wow, he left fast. I got rid of the tank, Garfield. Huh? You don't have to use this machine on me. You don't even have to fling me into the mud hole. Look, I'll do it for you. <laughs> See? <laughs> How I love to wind up in a good mud hole. <laughs> huh? oh. Garfield! <laughs> Vito is so sorry he kicked you out of his restaurant this morning. Here, have pizzas. Lots and lots of pizzas. <laughs> Just uh, don't start making them yourself, okay, uh. please? <laughs> Garfield! I was worried about what your machine here uh, I mean, I was worried about your health, and I was thinking maybe you don't need to diet. <laughs> and I see you've already come to the same conclusion. <gasps> okay, pay no attention to what I said. I never do. <laughs> huh? What's that, boy? You want to know what my machine really does? This machine does the same thing I'm going to do for the rest of the day. Absolutely nothing. Hmm, you know, I could even get to like Mondays. Neither do I. <laughs> they should just give me a trophy for winning the most trophies. Hey, that's an idea. I could win a lot of trophies for winning the most trophies. Oh, oh, and then I could win a trophy for winning the most trophies for winning the most trophies. Or not. I can't stand cats. Especially ones who think they're cute. Yeah, and adorable. But I am cute and adorable. Just take a look. <laughs> We take care of cats who are cute and adorable. <gasps> Did I say cute and adorable? <laughs> no, 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 no. I meant uh, uh, mangy and ugly. Yuck. Um, disgusting. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Congratulations. You just won this lovely trophy for best performance by a scary dog in a lead role. Bye. Um, guys, let's get that cat. 
This is a bad part of town, Odie. We shouldn't be down here. Yeah, this area is full of folks you don't want to be around. See, there's normal. Normal's being chased by angry dogs. If they catch up with him, he's a goner. Oh well. Oh. You think I should help Normal? Come on, we can take a shortcut and catch up to him. And this was not a smart way for me to run. You, you know, guys, I'm not really as adorable as I might appear. Oh, this is it. I'm toast. Cute toast, but toast just the same. Hey, Nermo. Well, look at what we have here. <laughs> yeah, another cat we don't like. Looks like we got us a two-for-one deal here. <laughs> you may think you're going... <laughs> What's he doing? Beats me. Sorry, I've become infested with... <laughs> Mongolian monster fleas. <laughs> They're very contagious. Quick, do what I'm doing. Oh, I don't want to get no, uh, uh, what did he say they were? Uh, Mongolian monster fleas. Hey, let's get away from them. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think we ought to be someplace else before they come back. Yeah. Huh? Garfield, you saved my life. Yeah, don't remind me. A word of advice, Nermo? <laughs> Stay away from places you might get hurt, like this neighborhood or my house. Let's go, Odie. Garfield saved my life. He really did. <laughs> Maybe I had him all wrong. I thought Garfield didn't like me. Why did I think that? Oh, maybe it was because all those times he said, Normal, I don't like you. Today on the show, we're going to discuss gratitude. <laughs> gratitude. I've heard of that. When someone does something nice for you, you should display gratitude. Thank them. Let them know that you owe them. And if someone did you a favor, do a favor for them. That's the decent thing to do in this world. Do a favor for Garfield? <laughs> well, he's right. I should do a favor for Garfield. I should do lots of favors for Garfield. He saved my life. Thanks, but I don't need you to do anything for me. <laughs> but there must be something I could do that would please you. Yeah? Go away. As you wish. Oh, I never thought getting rid of Normal could be so easy. And it saves on postage. <laughs> I'll celebrate with a couple of desserts. I'll tidy up for my friend Garfield. Let's see. Do I want vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, or pistachio? <laughs> yes, all of the above. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? Normal, the vacuum cleaner's too loud. What's that? Get here, Garfield. Vacuum cleaner's too loud. <laughs> my vanilla, my chocolate, my strawberry, my pistachio. Normal, turn that thing off. Hold on, Garfield. I'll turn this thing off. Normal, you turned it up to super suction. I'll try to turn it off. Garfield, Liz is coming over and we need to clean up the living room. 
think we overdid it? Garfield, how could you do this? But I didn't do it. Normal did. He was trying to tidy up around here. <laughs> and and don't try to blame this disaster on cute little Normal. <laughs> and don't come back ever. Oh, wait for your best friend. Or at least until dinner time. <sighs> what am I going to do with this room? Uh, maybe Odie can help me. Odie? Odie? Here, boy. Hmm? <gasps> oh. I don't care what you say, Garfield. I'm going to help you out. After all, you did save my oh. life. I keep asking you not to remind me, Normal. Oh? Hey, hey, hey. <gasps> Look who's coming this way. <gasps> She's utterly awesome. Want to meet her, Garfield? Well, I'm pretty happy with Arlene. Nothing's wrong with meeting people. She's real good looking. Not as good looking as me, but... Excuse me, lovely <laughs> lady cat. Do you know my friend uh, Garfield? Yeah. This is Garfield? Ooh, I've heard of Garfield. Yeah, he's a hero. He saved my life. He keeps reminding me. Plus, he's my best friend. Hmm. Well, any friend huh? of yours is a friend of mine. Garfield, would you like to share a lasagna some evening? Oh, well, maybe just a little one, the size of a small car. Huh? Huh? Ah! <laughs> Arlene! It's not what you think. She found my weakness. She mentioned lasagna. Arlene! Arlene! Ah, let her go. So, maybe you lost your lady friend. Look at the bright side. You'll oh. always have me around. Odie, I think I figured out how to stop Nermo from being my friend. I saved his life, so I just have to get him to save my life. Then we'll be even. Brilliant, huh? Well, I don't care if you don't think it's brilliant. I think it's brilliant. So here's what I need you to do. Now, I'll take my dear friend Garfield a big dish of raisins. Oh, and then maybe I'll get him a pizza with lots and lots of anchovies on it. <laughs> oh, Odie, what's wrong? Nothing's happened to my best friend forever Garfield, has it? <gasps> what do you mean, not yet? <laughs> Garfield's going for a walk in that bad neighborhood where I ran into those tough bully dogs? He'll mm -hmm. get flattened. I have to go help him. <laughs> Don't worry, my friend. I'll protect you. <laughs> he saved my life. Now I'll save his. But the thing to remember in life is to put yourself first. Because if you don't, nobody else will. What? Yes, it's important to take care of others, but it's also important to take care of yourself. You matter too, you know. He's right. I'm normal cat. Why am I worrying about someone else? Oh, look at the poor cat. Defenseless kitty, walking all by himself. I hope nobody bothers him. Hey, I'm not worried. Normal will show up and save me, and we'll be even. And even if he can't save me, I'm still not worried. I have my Mongolian monster flea routine to protect me. Ahem. <clears throat> Cat walking alone. Defenseless. With a bad attitude. Boy, when you want trouble, you can't find it. <laughs> oh, you dogs don't scare me. My dear friend Nerma will show up here any second now to protect me. Uh, any second now. Garfield! Oh, he's here! He's here to save me! Garfield! <laughs> I just want to tell you, I have to take care of myself. So, you're on your own. Bye! <laughs> oh, I just remembered. <laughs> Mongolian monster fleas. Better run if you don't want to catch them. <laughs> hey, we're not worried. Not one bit. We all went and got flea collars. Liz says you ought to be up and on your paws in a couple of weeks. I can't imagine why you went into that bad neighborhood all by yourself, Garfield. You couldn't have imagined someone was going to come to your rescue, could you? I'm going to go get your medicine. Oh, and Liz says no lasagna or other fattening foods for a couple of months. <laughs>
Garfield, I have the feeling it was in some small teensy way my fault, and I'm gonna make it up to you. So? So, I've decided to stay here and wait on you and be your best friend. <laughs> You're supposed to be in bed, Garfield. Garfield? Where are you? Ah! Aren't you injured? Not as much as you're gonna be. No, Garfield, no. You, you saved my life. No, I got a Mongolian monster. Please, oh. please. Mr. Cannell, you've got to give me another chance. I've given you 97 other chances, Al. Then give me 98. I know I haven't caught many dogs lately. None. And that's unacceptable, especially now. Did you hear about the new law? Uh, what new law? And the mayor's office has announced a crackdown on dogs running around without leashes. Any unleashed dog will be hauled off to the pound, and his owner will pay a steep fine. Oh, good. Odie's always running around without a leash. <gasps> Odie! Garfield! Anyone? Odie's out someplace walking around without a leash. I better find him before I get tossed in the pound and he has to pay a steep fine. All right, one last chance, but only because I don't have anyone else. I won't let you down. Oh, for heaven's sake, I'll be driving around. If I see one dog not on a leash, you're fired. I won't let you down. Yes, you will. Oh, I'm so hungry, I could pass out any second. I know I shouldn't have skipped my third breakfast. Hi, Garfield. Huh? How many hot dogs? The usual order? Oh. Okay, all of them. I don't know if I can wait any longer. I'm losing consciousness fast. My whole life is flashing before my eyes. There's that lasagna I ate last night. There's the prime rib from last Easter. It's no use. I can't make it. I'm sorry. I'm... I can't... Quick, Garfield. Eat this hot dog. Hurry. You forgot the relish. The park is the best place to find leashless dogs. Yes! <laughs> Drat! <laughs> Bingo! Target acquired. 19 more of these and I should be good as new. Hello, puppy. <laughs> you are under arrest for running around without a leash. It is my duty to advise you of your rights as a dog. You have the right to remain silent and not bark. You have the right to a flea collar, and if you cannot afford one, one will be purchased before any further scratching. Do you understand these rights as I have explained them to you? Puppy? Hey, cat! Did you see where the puppy went? Yes. Hey, that nose of yours could use some of this. No! I can't believe you put mustard all over my nose. You're lucky I don't have hot chili. I'll take care of you, cat, and your little dog, too. Whoa. Ooh, Come with me if you want to live. You won't get away from me. I'm too smart for you. <laughs> You see, dogs aren't the only creatures that can spend all day chasing their own tails. A dog without a leash? That's it! Huh? Help! 
Please, Mr. Canal, this is my life. I'm a dog catcher. Not anymore. You aren't. You're fired. You have been goofing off. You've been eating hot dogs instead of catching real dogs. I wasn't eating hot dogs. Don't lie to me. You have mustard all over your face. <laughs> Shame on you, Odie. Because of you, that nice dog catcher just lost his job. <laughs> All right, let's celebrate. Vito has a special two pizzas for the price of one. Does that sound good? Good. Then I'll eat both and you watch. Where are you going to find anyone else for this job? Anyone can do it. I'm tempted to hire the next person who walks by. Excuse me, have either of you seen a cute little dog around here? You like dogs, do you? Oh, sure. Well, have you ever considered catching them for a living? What do you do? I'm a cartoonist. Oh, well, this is different. This is a real job. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so much for Al the dog catcher. I wonder what numbskill they'll get to do that job now. <laughs> You're right. A person would have to be pretty dumb to... Congratulate me, guys. You're looking at the new city dog catcher. Don't worry, Odie. John will be down any minute to feed us. See you this evening, guys. Gotta go catch dogs. Excuse me, breakfast? We'd like some breakfast? John has left the building. Well, looks like we'll have to prepare our own meals. Let's see, I'm thinking lasagna, ravioli, rigatoni, pasta. Part of your nutritious breakfast. Fortunately, John left the refrigerator crammed full of food. <laughs> it's time to put an end to John's new career and my new lack of food. <laughs> So that's where all our food is gone. John's using it as bait. This is not good, Odie. Not good at all. While John's catching dogs, our plates go empty. <laughs> huh? All I ever wanted to be in life was a dog catcher. When I was a small boy, all the other kids would play with dogs. <laughs> I just wanted to catch them. <laughs> oh. One year for Christmas, my Uncle Nathan gave me the cutest little mm. cocker spaniel you ever saw. It had soft ears and big sad eyes. I threw a net over it and took it to the pound. <laughs> Odie, we've got to get that man his job back, which means we have to get John fired. We need a dog he can't catch. <laughs> you know the old saying I just made up? When you want the perfect dog, get a cat. I know it's here somewhere. Oh, oh, there's that old department store mannequin. That'll come in handy for the final scene in this episode. Right now, I'm trying to find... Ah, remember this, Odie? Uh-uh. It's that dog costume I wore back in season one. Remember that cartoon where I ate all that lasagna? Hey, not bad. Arf, arf. Woof, woof. Bark, woof, 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 bark, bark. Bow wow, woof, woof, yip, yip. Didn't know I could speak a foreign language, did you? Hey, this magnet will be useful. Now you stay here. We can't have you walking the streets without a leash. John would lock you up. Okay, I'm off to catch me a dog catcher. Woof, woof, arf. Woof, woof, arf. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> Observe the amateur dog catcher, thinking he can attract a dog with a rotten cat impression. Oh well, it's showtime. 
So that's how you want to play, smart guy. Wait till I catch you. Watch it. Senor Arbuckle, may I show you to a table? Senor Arbuckle! No! No to my restaurante! Please! My lovely restaurante! No, 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 no! Look out! I'm sorry. You look like a dog. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 my restaurante! My restaurante! Ho, 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 Vito! That was one of the funniest shows I've ever seen! <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Uh, there is a modest cover charge for the entertainment. <laughs> that dog is as agile as a cat! Woof, woof. You're mine. You're wrong. <laughs> okay, time to get caught. <gasps> yep, yep, yep. Ha gotcha. <laughs> ha! I'm too smart for you. Yeah, way too smart. Ha <laughs> ha. There's the keys to this hotel. <laughs> no, no! Get back in the kennel! Sounds like Arbuckle's caught a lot of dogs. Hiring him was the smartest thing I ever did. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Cannell, I'm sorry. I don't know how all the dogs got away, but... Arbuckle! Oh. You're even more incompetent than that idiot I fired! I better get him back while I can. But, Mr. Cannell! So, Mr. Cannell not only offered me my job back, I got a raise. The guy he replaced you with, he must have been really terrible. <laughs> I'll say. I wonder what he's gonna do now. <sighs> he's going back to being a cartoonist. <laughs> That's the puppy that got me fired. If he's not on a leash, he goes to the pound. And this time, he can't escape. Huh? I told you that mannequin would come in handy in the last scene. <laughs> <laughs> 